Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today we'll be looking at some multi-team Slayer gameplay on the map Complex. Now what I'd first like you to notice is in the bottom right hand corner, we are 12 kills behind. Me and my teammate Soap joined the game in progress. As you can see the green team has 12 kills, red team has quit and has been filled in by more players joining. Same thing with blue team and now the same thing with yellow team. We are the players joining yellow team currently. So being 12 kills behind, let's see what we can do. Now I want to pause and say here that green team player that I just spotted right there. That's our immediate threat and that will be what we will be going for the entire game. Green team. The more we kill green team, the less score that they can accumulate. The harder it is for them to get kills the less score they can get. Now I'm going to slow this down. As I thrust her pack to the left, the guy has a sword and an overshield in front of me. I turn my camera so that when I come out of thruster pack, I'll be able to be right behind him. I melee him in the back, saving my teammate. That guy drops the sword to the ground. We still have an enemy player behind us. I quickly turn around. My teammate gets his foot stuck. He blows up, reducing my shield significantly. I pull out my bolt shot as the enemy player is very close. Charging up this bolt shot, the enemy player switches his sniper rifle for the sword. Leaping into the air, dodging my bolt shot charged, and stabbing me straight in the face. As he comes down to the ground, he switches his sword for the sniper rifle, throwing it on the ground. Obviously we are against at least one incredibly fast-witted and decently good players. So this should be a pretty difficult game for us as far as I was able to tell. What we have an advantage is, as you can tell by the score, his team, the green mate, teammate, does not seem to be doing well. So we're going to try to take advantage of that. One guy cannot win a game in multi-team against two good players. We're in a pretty good nade there, letting them fight it out, and then me throwing in a grenade to try to pick up one of the kills, and I do. Now, I'm still pretty far behind, rotate back towards this area, and find the guy with his pants down. I end up grabbing the sword here and attacking him. Now, the whole thought process there was to move back to big building because that's where they were. That's where green team was. So eventually, after taking those guys out outside the building, we moved into this big building because that's where we last saw green team. And sure enough, they're there. Doubling up on the sniper and sword, this is a precarious position for me because I have a long, both a long range and a short range weapon. I bait the guys on my radar, as you may have noticed in the bottom left hand corner, and it happens to be green team. I sprint for the green team over trying to prevent him from actually getting a kill. He ends up killing the red guy, I believe, but I'm able to escape here, calling down the speed boost. Speed boost is amazing in Halo 4 with a sword, but especially when you have the thruster pack. It is unbelievable when you have speed boost, as you'll see me use it here. Preventing the green team again from getting a kill, I thrust your pack to the right, completely disorienting them as I get noob stuck by the last green player and end up dying there. Very unfortunate. I immediately see green team, so what am I going to try to do? Frustrate them and confuse them beyond belief as I wait for my backup from my teammate who is on my radar. Throwing a nade, I thrust your pack to the right escaping them, end up losing all my shields, so I know I have to be play this very carefully. I run around the corner. They split up very well, but the guy behind me is not able to take me out and ends up going around the other way trying to cut me off. But by that time, my shields have partly regenerated, which was a bad maneuver. He should have just pursued the kill there and hugged the opposite wall to stay away from my bolt shot. I end up escaping here. As you can see, green team is already back on our tails. Now look to the right, bottom right hand corner. Our score is messed up. I've never seen the scoring system do this. We have, I believe, uh, 16 kills. Yes, 16 kills, but our, yo, and there it reset. There you go. Um, our score in the bottom right hand corner did that several times, and it's doing it right now. Um, we have 17 kills now, but it's it was messing up. I've never seen that glitch before, but oh well. So right here, I'm working with my teammate, calling out enemy players. Soap will end up trying to get that kill. I see a guy, on my radar, so I'm going to try to jump out and get him. The bolt shot doesn't seem to 
work out for me here. I was way too overconfident, ended up getting naded to heck here. Um, you should never be overconfident with one weapon and assume it can work in all in all scenarios. That's what typically happens to people when they use the bolt shot. They use it way too much. And that was an example of me succumbing to that mentality. For a brief for a few, few brief seconds at least. This guy has a sticky debt. He sticky dates. He sticky debts the floor to my right and blows me up. A very, very smart, well angled detonation on his part. I'm very careful here because I know that guy has a sticky debt in the big building. But as I push in, I notice no one on my radar. So I pick up a sticky bat, as the guy may be dead, and I may be able to pick up his ammo. I don't end up finding him, and I do not believe I get very many kills with a sticky bat. Now here is a critical point to notice. The guy on my radar, who is right outside the wall from me, my teammates right behind me, I see this rocket launcher that's about to cross the doorway in front of me. So I know that this enemy player has a rocket launcher, and I see it right there. What my teammate does is I call out, the enemy guy on our radar has a rocket launcher. He walks out the door, jetpacks up into the air, preventing the enemy player from using any surface to explode a rocket and kill him. As you can see, the enemy player doesn't know what to do and ends up firing no rockets as we take him out. My teammate is going to grab the rocket launcher as I already have a sticky detonator. Make sure he's okay, checking behind him to make sure no one's following us as we push into the big building. Now this is a smart play on our part. I immediately realized that no one's coming in a big building. Obviously the fight and spawns are being held elsewhere. So I say to my teammate, come on, let's push this, let's push across this bridge. Put a, a little bit of damage on the purple player. Throw a nade that does nothing and throw a second nade that picks me up a kill and an assist. I notice the green team and I'm not going to die to them, so I hang back. That grenade that just bounced by stuck my teammate, and he ends up exploding. Grab the rockets, one rocket left, I'm going to reload it. Now at this point in the game, we have 27 kills. We are two kills behind green team, and we spend way too much time trying to kill this ghost. We should have just pushed back into the building and waited for the ghost to leave us alone. Uh, but I didn't want to leave my teammate alone here. I really wanted to try to kill this ghost, but it ends up just splattering my teammate. I do a long-range sticky bat to destroy a lot of the health of the ghost. And I do a perfectly timed sticky bat as the ghost comes by and I end up exploding it. Right here, it's incredibly unfortunate. This enemy green player, you may not be able to tell, but he's glowing green. What that means is that he has an overshield. It's a little bit hard to tell. So I want to not give him the satisfaction of killing me because, of course, with an overshield, he's going to be charging us, which is what you should be doing. I try to make it up to this ramp and thruster pack past it, but I'm not able to as they clean me up. I believe both of them have an overshield. And what's funny about the overshield is that even though the player may not still have the overshield, as in on their shield bar, it may have depleted, they still retain the green glow for a few more seconds. So what I'm trying to say here is, regardless of whether the player has a green glow or not, you do want to put shots in the enemy player, because they will deplete their shield, and you can kill them even though they have that green glow. It's very interesting, and I end up doing that here with an absolutely insane uh, final bullet from my battle rifle. I didn't realize that the enemy player was firing at my teammate, and we end up doing a great bait and switch here as my teammate dies behind me, unfortunately. This purple player is not watching his radar at all. As I charge bolt shot, not sure why that's not a kill. And I have no idea how this is a kill. But, oh well. I, in fact, that guy may have stuck himself, if I'm not mistaken. Now here, I should have um, peeked out this window and um, checked to see if there was guys out here. But I'm really concerned about the guy above me, as my teammate is going to be battling him. So I quickly push out of this doorway, try to find and help my teammate, but my teammate's already got him. Great to have teammates you can rely on. Right here, I really want you to notice where I place my reticle. The battle rifle has a slight kickback. So as this guy jetpacks in the air, I'm going to aim about his crotch area, a little bit below his chest. As I shoot my first few shots... And as his shields weaken, work my way up to his head with my battle rifle, 
putting some really solid shots as I break his shield and go down and nail him with the eventual headshot as he falls to the ground. Very good shots on my part. Not a four shot, but from that range, pretty decent shots nonetheless. I'd like to point out that the player I just killed here has 18 kills, whereas his teammate has none. Okay, The guy I just killed has 18 kills. Not sure what he was doing, whether he's about to call down the ordinance or whether he's just distracted or what. Again, not watching his radar. Not sure what that's about. Trying to put some long-range shots on the enemy team. We still are two kills behind. Three kills now. I find the enemy green player spawning and able to take out both green players. A huge plus for us. Notice our score now. We are now six kills ahead of the enemy team. All right, this is a really good job killing the enemy teammates off. And guys, I'm not sure why the camera, you see how the camera has become locked in the third person after I, I thruster pack? That is a common glitch with theater mode. It will happen consistently in the films I show you. It's nothing I can, I can fix. End up baiting that guy very, very well, making him think that I'm, uh, again, notice how the, I got kicked out the third person. There's nothing I can do about that. I'll quickly modify it, though. I get two pretty decent snapshots. I kill this guy, and I kill the same guy as he spawns for the double kill. Weaken that guy, um, and see, <laughs> you see this guy? You see the guy I just killed for the double kill? That guy was the guy I just shot in the body. So you, since you respawn instantly, you can look straight back to where you were and clean up the guy you were already putting shots on. So this double kill actually ends up winning us the game. We were 12 kills ahead of the green team. Pretty impressive having been 12 kills down from the green team when we started the game. Guys, if you like this sort of commentary where I slow down the game and give you in-depth tips, if you like this sort of thing, uh, like the video, subscribe for more Halo content, and I'll see you in the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Thanks, guys.